And so coming up here on Morning Exchange, we'll look at the keenly watched business of the on-demand TV content with the president of Acacia Technologies. Now, on-demand TV content is broadening horizons not only for consumers but for the suppliers of the technology. One such company is Acacia Technologies. It develops and licenses digital media transmission technology to electronics and media companies. To tell us more, we're joined by the group's president, Chip Harris. Thanks very much indeed um, for joining us. Right, thank you. Just had your numbers out um, this week. Your your uh, your Q3 revenue is what three hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars consolidated. Some yeah, it's uh, it hasn't. Uh, we've just started to roll out the video on demand, right. the DMT technology. So the uh, the the numbers, while smaller, represent a pretty big increase over the prior quarter's numbers because we uh, we just started our licensing program. Okay, and what are, what are you licensing? What exactly are you licensing? We basically have a, a, a proprietary intellectual property uh, technology that allows the digitization from analog to digital and the storage and the rebroadcast and retransmission of uh, digital media. We think it's fundamental for uh, uh, applications such as uh, some video streaming applications, uh, some video on demand applications, some wireless applications. Uh, really the fundamental transfer of digital media over a, a myriad of different uh, pathways. Okay, so you've got a company like Real Networks, for mm -hmm. example, that's um, you know, streaming sports footage and what have you. Would that, uh, is that the sort of thing you're talking about? They could be a potential licensee, that's correct. Right, okay, not yet though. Not yet, not I yet. I can fix up an interview for you if you'd like. Um, it was on the <laughs> other day. Um, all right, now, uh, so what, what's the, what's the, the sort of the, the key thing here for, them, for the growth of, of your business? Because, because you have been seen as a business, um, there's an article in Forbes magazine a couple of years ago. They said you know, most of your growth comes from suing people who infringe your patents. Well, we are we are an intellectual property-based group. We we're not a manufacturer of anything. We think in this worldwide economy, it's tough to uh, it's tough to uh, justify mm. building and manufacturing anything. We think that this era this, this era is the information age, mm -hmm. and the natural outgrowth of the information age is intellectual property. Uh, and we think that investors ought to look for continued success in the number of licensees uh, over the next couple of quarters. And we think that the uh, the revenue will grow. So, with so that. monitoring so monitoring patents is absolutely vital to you. It's absolutely key. The um, uh, the, the three successful points to a successful licensing mm -hmm. program are the prosecution of your patents, not mm -hmm. the litigation, but the, how the patents are prosecuted worldwide. Uh, the uh, uh, the, the team in which to do it. People have experience in that. And the uh, the expectations of the licensor. We think our expectations are modest. We're not trying to uh, to ask for a huge chunk of anybody's mm -hmm. top-line revenues, but we think that uh, in this age that uh, intellectual property is key. So you pay a lot of lawyers fees then? We have a lot of we have a lot of lawyers in house, not just mm -hmm. for litigation though, but for idea so for applications. Right. And and we spend a lot of time with the U.S. Patent Office, with the European Patent Office, developing new patents. Well, that, okay, because this is going to be key for you to maintain any kind of competitive edge. You've got to stay technologically ahead of the game, haven't you? Clearly, to have pioneering patents, it was said to some of our guys originally that if you really want a true pioneering mm -hmm. patent, uh, identify what you want, get it approved by the uh, respective patent offices, and wait ten years. And with this DMT technology, we, uh, we applied for and received those patents in January of 1991. So it has been 10 years for the applications to be used on a, a big enough commercial scale that uh, makes sense for people to license them. Okay, so how long is this going to take to turn you guys into a profitable company? I mean, you, your loss this time is about $5 million, but mm -hmm. that's down from a $20 million loss. So yep. you're going the right way. So how long before you, know, you get a sort of a, a growth going and, and licensing that the, makes the, you profitable? The nice thing about a, a licensing type of a business is it's very uh, leverageable. Uh, we have uh, about $5 million a year in total operating costs on the Acacia Media Technology side. Uh, so, you, and, and the gross revenues derived from licensing have uh, are almost gross margins. There's there's no cost of goods sold from a licensing revenue. So every one dollar we bring in is one dollar. So, we uh, we look to hit uh, the $5 million top line revenue mark uh, probably sometime next year and be profitable going going forward. Okay. And, and your your name was Robert, and you turned it to Chip. Is that just because yeah. it goes with the company? No, no. Yeah, yeah. I would like to say that, but no. <laughs> No, it's uh, just a nickname that all my friends call okay, me by, so I right. appreciate the use. Okay, Chip, thanks a lot. Chip Harris, thanks, um, thanks, President of Acacia Technologies.